Hey everyone, welcome to Ravenport and the next episode in our Let's Play series. So we're currently just on our way up to the spinnery. I've decided that even though the price is not brilliant on the wall, um, I thought I'd just take it up there and sell it. It's not too bad, it's just over $1,500 per thousand litres. Uh, that way it's going to get the... The amount of um, 1,000 litre pallets we've got, we're just going to reduce and um, get them out of the way. I've also got two of the 4,000 litre ones on the the back as well. So we've got quite a lot of wool. I'm not sure exactly how many pallets that there are, but there is quite a lot on here. So as you can see, we've got like three rows on each one. So again. We're going to have to unload these by hand because the triggers have not been fixed, well, at least on this map anyway. I, I am running the 1.3 beta patch on this game now, so I'm not sure if the triggers have been fixed for the base game maps. Um, I'm not sure. We'll sell this as you can see we're getting 1500 per pallet. Uh, the reusable ones, that one fully sold $9,487 for that one pallet with 4,000 litres in. Uh, we'll get those two out of the way because we need to return those. Uh, I am also thinking if we go back and get the eggs as well, and we'll sell the eggs. The price, say, it's still over $5,000 per thousand litres of eggs. Um, yeah, per thousand litres of eggs. So we're still going to get quite a bit off what we've got. Um, but it's not going to be as much as it could be. But I say for now, we'll just take what we can get for them. And get some money towards the new tractor. We've also got two horses to take up to the animal dealer to sell those. So they're both fully trained. So we can sell those two, and that'll give us another ninety thousand dollars with the ten thousand off for replacing them. So what I'll do is I'll head back down to the farm. I'll get the egg pallets loaded up, and we'll take those over. I do need to pick up the animal trailer, which is over by the pigs, um, which will probably leave for a bit because we nearly a hundred pigs anyway. So we're going to be taking twelve pigs up to the animal dealer as well. So we'll probably wait until they're ready and then get the horses over there as well. Okay, so this is the last full pallet we've got to put on. Um, there is a one by the chickens which is relatively full, which I think we'll probably take because uh, there's quite a bit in there. Um, while we're here as well in the skid steer, we'll just quickly clean out the feed areas. So we can get that done. Drop that one down and push it over a little bit more. So I'll just get this last one. I think it's around about 80% full or there or thereabouts. So there's still quite a fair bit in there. So we'll take this one over as well. Uh, with these and then when we do take the horses and the pigs that should pretty much give us enough money to get the new tractor and uh, the seed drill I have sold our old seed drill and the power harrow section for that as well uh, I shouldn't really not bothered pushing that one over but uh, uh, this is the only problem with Putting a partially filled pallet next to four ones is you get this infinite filling where <laughs> it just tries to continually fill one or then refill the other one. Uh, a little bit annoying with the noise it makes, but. Well, do I completely forgot all about that? I usually try and keep the empty ones and the four ones away from each other.
Well, that, that, that noise is probably going to drive me crazy. Alright, so what we'll do, we'll just quickly clean out the feed areas. Because I haven't done it for a bit. So that's all the grass for the sheep. I think we do need to look at topping up the hay or grass for the sheep. And also for the horses. Um, I... We've got quite a lot of oats in for the horses, so I may top up the hay anyway. I do want to change the horse paddock for a larger one um, at some point when the food is run out. Uh, but it's going to be a lot longer for the oats to run down than the hay, so we will have to top up the hay a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll probably just put a small amount in each time, just so we can let the oats run down um, if it is going to take far too long for the oats to empty what I may do is just when we come to it um, delete the paddock and then whatever oats are in there transfer it over through the XML files into the new one um, so we're not losing out on that because there's unfortunately no no way of unloading the food or taking it out of the, the paddocks or any of the animal pens. Alright, so I'll just drop that off. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move that pallet because that's going to drive me absolutely balmy. Uh, no. Alright. Yeah, I think uh, they've all probably messed up now, some are all possibly full, so I might have to just leave it at that and take it as it is. Oh, where's the strap for that one? Oh, I'm missing a strap here. Oh, there it is. Right, well, <laughs> I'll do. Let's just uh, get in. It's a bit quieter inside the cab. So it's not as bad so the uh, the price has actually gone down quite a bit more than I've looked at before uh, so our current highest price is 4,573 at the ranch it was at one of them uh, around about 5,000 so it's dropped a little bit more than uh, I realized uh, but we'll still take them up to the ranch anyway so we'll head over there now and then what we'll probably do we'll come back via the the pigs and check on those and we do need to clean their feed trough as well and I'll, we'll have a look how many pigs we've got may just take oh, as we <laughs> nearly crash out on that corner uh, I may just take 12 pigs out now uh, fill the trail up and sell those uh, it's not going to matter too much on the reproduction rate they're still going to continue to reproduce Alright then, so let's see how much we get for these pallets of eggs. So we're just coming up to the ranch. And again, we're going to have to pull the boxes off by the looks of it. There's one empty one. So this, this is a bit odd because I don't know if they're actually selling or some of them are going into other pallets. We'll get that one out of the way. So $10,000 for that one. Yeah, so nearly $11,000 for a full pallet which is 2,400 litres and thank god that horrible noise has stopped. So that's taken us up to 313 so far and 324,441 dollars now. So we may still need to, oh no we've still got the horses to sell I'm thinking we're still short of what we need. Uh, but we've got the two horses which is another 90,000 and then the 12 pigs which will be another 12,000 as well. So we've got more than enough to 
get the new seed drill and our new tractor. Uh, we do need to look at getting a cultivator as well because we're going to... Oh, I, I kept the subsoil section from the uh, old planter, the coon setup, so we've still got the 4 metre subsoil section. So when we've harvested field nine, um, 18 sorry, with the corn, we will have to go over that with the subsoil. So we'll, but we may as well keep that section because um, it's going to be useful for jobs like that. But we possibly will need to look at getting a cultivator as well. Um, that we can use before we do the planting with the planter. So what we'll do is we'll head back um, via the pigs, we'll get the trailer loaded up with 12 pigs and we'll take those up to the animal dealer. It's crashed into that person's car, we'll just have to quickly get out of here before anybody notices. Um, yeah, so we'll take the 12 pigs, then we'll take the two horses, then we can go and get our shiny nice new tractor from Carlos. Okay, so we're over at the peak enclosure. So what we'll do is just swap these trailers over. I'll get that one back down to the other farm later. So what we want to do is... Oh, so what we'll do first, we'll just stop that. I'll get the feed trough cleaned up as they've made quite a bit of a mess. And um, so I... In the last episode, I did talk about the the pigs and uh, the situation with the food and the amount of food we was putting into how much money we could make over the 10-day period. Um, I don't know, obviously, if they've changed it with the 1.3 update. I did see somebody say they have adjusted the feed requirements, but I'm not 100% sure on if that's true or not. Um, I don't remember seeing anything in the change log for what changes have been made for the 1.3 update um, of like animals so I may have just missed that or it may not have been on there I don't know um, so I did an experiment yesterday on my test map and um, what I did was I uh, purchased several different pig enclosures um, put different amounts of pigs in different types of pigs and then filled up the feed trough using pig food and the different crop types so for 80 pigs um, you need 72,000 litres of food to fill up their trough and what I did find is I filled up um, the trough for everything so corn, the wheat, um, soybeans and potatoes categories with 72,000 litres and then I run the game for 10 days so the one pig enclosure had 80 pigs um, fully filled up, 72,000 litres of each type of food. And then the other enclosure had 80 pigs where I only filled up the corn category to 72,000 litres with pig food. And when you put pig food in, it fills up a little bit of the other categories as well. So I worked out around, I think it was around about 150. $30,000 worth of pig food to fill up the corn category to 72,000 litres. Um, I run the game then for 10 days. I'm just selling the pigs off every time it got to 100. Um, I still had plenty of food left in both categories after 10 days for everything on pig food or on um, the normal food. So it a lot longer than 10 days the food takes as I say that may be down to uh, the 1.3 beta I'm not sure uh, but what I did find out is the when you use pig food everything even though the other categories don't fill up as much as corn they all reduce at the same rate so they all equally reduce so the the other crop types last just as long as the corn um, with the the normal crop foods, like you can see, we've got sixty five thousand liters of um, sugar beets in there. That reduces at the same rate as corn does. So those sixty five thousand liters of sugar beets will probably last more like a hundred days rather than ten days. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how long the food lasts, um, but it lasts a hell of a lot longer than I 
fought at first. So it's I think pigs, I say it may be because of 1.3, they have adjusted it now that the food lasts longer. Um, so pigs are profitable um, over a period of time. I would say we're not, we'll, we'll probably never need to refill the root crops um, in this playthrough. That 65,000 litres will last a hell of a long time. So I'm not too concerned about the pigs with the food now. Um, although I would say that realistically from what I found, is you only really need to feed them corn and wheat or barley. The other ones don't make a huge amount of difference. Um, especially the 5% from root crops, I found that made pretty much no difference whatsoever. Um, so it, it, it is a bit of a shame that you don't have to do a little bit more with the root crops for them. Um, but honestly, don't waste your time for that 5%. It's really not worth it. Um, as long as you've got water, straw, and corn and wheat at the minimum you will get a good return off your pigs so what we'll do is we'll get this loaded up with um, 12 pigs um, i also found out as well if you have um, an equal amount of two different types as opposed to the same amount with one type that doesn't really make much difference either the only downside is if you've got uh, multiple different types so if you've got three or four different types in here then you are going to seriously reduce your reproduction rate because you just don't have the space for enough of those types to get to a decent reproduction rate so the two it doesn't really matter but what we'll do we'll we'll then reduce the one type anyway so we'll sell off 12 of the white pigs um, and why they're all opposite <laughs> That's one. Oh, yeah, we can only fill up the trailer with 12 anyway, so we'll keep going until we fall. So, there we go, confirm that. So, we'll take these 12 up to the livestock market and sell these off. So, it's only $12,000, but that's going to be $12,000 every 24 hours now. We can sell another 12 pigs off. So I worked out if you get up to about 80 pigs in your um, pig enclosure then you're going to start getting a good rate then when you can get to 100 you can sell 12 off each day so every 24 hour period you will get 12 pigs so we'll get these ones moved off um, so that's 12,000 for those and what we'll do now we'll go and get our two horses and bring those up here and that'll give us another $90,000 that'll take us up over 400000 which is more than enough we need for the new tractor okay so we're back at the animal dealer and we've got our next two horses to be sold So we've got Turbo and Crystal, and what we'll do, we'll buy two more ones, so i say two new ones. Uh, Colour-wise, I don't know, <laughs> I should go for those two. So what I was thinking is once we get the the new horse paddock, or the larger horse paddock, rather than keep bringing up two at a time, because we're going to have another two ready tomorrow, fully trained, and then two the in-game day after that. And what we'll do is we'll just buy a trailer full. Um, and then kind of gradually work it out that we, we can bring six up at a time rather than keep bringing two up, um, which will make more sense. So that's taken us up to $426,441. I'd say we will have another two the next in-game day and the, another two the day after that and the day after that. So that's another $270,000 we've got coming in over the next three in-game days. Plus with the pigs as well, that'd be $36,000 from the pigs. So we're going to have another $300,000 at least coming in over the next few days, uh, which is quite good. We are starting to get to a point where we, we are making uh, money quite regular, uh, especially with the wool and eggs and stuff. 
What we'll do, we'll get these unloaded. So we've got Dixie and Ocean, so they can go into the pen. So the next two will be Trooper and Venus, and then we've got Mufasa and Iolanthe and Virgo and Annabelle after that. And then we'll be back to a few few days gap before we've got any more. So we do need to top up the hay, I think, of the horses. Well, it's not too much. 8,000 leases still in there. The sheep are... I've gone past them. Uh, the one chicken coop could do with some wheat. Um, so the sheep, yeah, they could really do with a hay bale. So we've got one hay bale left. So we are going to need to get some grass cut. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just quickly give the sheep that one hay bale. I'm not too concerned about getting the hay done. We'll probably do that in the next episode. We'll get some grass cut. Um, so we can... Uh, just get some feed into the horses and the sheep and um, what we do need to do we've got our corn in field 18 needs harvesting at some point as well um, which again we'll probably look at trying to do in the next episode because we're not desperate for the corn and we'll just use that to top up the pigs feed um, we've got the Fields 14 and 15 and field 23 we want to get planted as they can be grown then while we do the other jobs. So we'll give that to the sheep. So what we'll do now we'll head up to Carlos and we'll get our new tractor and seed and then we can get those two fields seeded so they can be growing. Our sunflowers do need some fertilizer as well. I don't know, <laughs> I've just drove drove that back over here but we'll leave that there for now so the sunflowers do need fertilizing at some point as well which we'll probably have to get done today I might do that just off camera now to get that sorted so what we'll do we'll head up to Carlos and I'm gonna walk up uh, simply because if I take a, another vehicle we'll have to leave it up there and go and fetch it later so I'll, I'll meet you up at Carlos okay so we're just up at Carlos reliable motors and we're going to see what he's got in store for us. So, seed drill, I did mention we are going to get the horse pronto, the 9 meter, so the 9 DC. So, we're going to not lease it, I'm going to buy it. So, that's left us with 322,441, which I think is more than enough for our tractor. So, the tractor I'm going to go for, um, I did have a few suggestions when I asked before. And pretty much it was equal, one for the John Deere, um, some for the New Holland, some for a case. Um, so I have decided I'm going to go with the modded New Holland T8, if I can actually find it. So we're going to go with this one, which is NEFG modding. Now um, this is off their Facebook page and there is a link on my mod list to this. So this one is the like Americanized or US version. So we've got Wheel Brands Goodyear or the Firestone. I think the yeah, the Goodyear is just the float type. So we go with the Firestones, and we can have the row crop rear jewels. Uh, you've got rear, rear jewels weights, uh, fall jewels, jewels with weights, um, smart tracks, uh, dual smart tracks. So it's dual front wheels with the smart tracks, and then just the back to the row crop. So we'll go with the real rear jewels. Well, I don't think we need quite that much. We'll probably go 900 front weight for now. Um, do want to go with the GPS as well. So that's $286,900 uh, for the engine setup. We'll leave it as the 320 because that's more than enough what we need now. But we do have the option to go up to 435 if we ever need to with this. So it has got that little bit of flexibility as well, being able to boost up the horsepower. So we will buy that. And while we're here, we will get some pallets of seed. So we need three of these. And then we'll get two fertilizer. So 
there's our new tractor and our new cedar. So it's total with the seed and fertilizers $390,900. So quite a bit of money. Uh, but this is going to save us quite a bit of time, or save me a bit of time, getting the field seeded. So what we'll do, we'll get this topped up, and then we'll head down to field 23. Oh. Uh, I don't suppose it really matters which one we do first. We'll go up to 14, 15, or head down to 23. Yes, if I say it doesn't really matter, they're probably better, both equal distance from them. Um, in terms of other fields, I do want to look at trying to get another field now. We've got the new cedar. Uh, we don't need any more equipment imminently so in the next lot of money we get we're going to look at getting a new field um so just having to try to look so field 21 is actually ready to harvest now and also field 17 so that's 213,000 and 21 is only 147 so it might be worth buying field 21 Possibly actually buying it now before it gets harvested. Um, crop is in it. Uh, so it's got soybeans in. It needs plowing. It has got some fertilizer on. Uh, it doesn't require lime. It just needs plowing. So could possibly um, look at buying that now. I was, would obviously have. Um, mean increasing the loan a little bit uh, but we are going to get that money back over the next few days um, I'll have a think about it I'll get this filled up and we'll head up to 14 and 15 we'll do that one first all right so we've just come up to 14 and 15 uh, now this tractor is um, just an edit of the in-game New Holland so pretty much all the interior I think is exactly the same um, it's just the wheel options that's the main difference and the option on this one it hasn't got the three point linkage on the front it's got the weights instead oh, it's still a nice looking tractor and Giants have done a reasonably good job on modelling these so we need to plant this field and what I think is we might be better off starting in that top corner and coming back this way and setting the GPS up coming back down the actual field uh, following this edge a little bit might be the easiest option now I'm just thinking actually we don't uh, it didn't really matter, I was going to say we don't have the multi-angle terrain on this map but We'll just do it the easiest way it's going to be. So we get that turned around. And what we're going to plant in this one. We had soybeans previously, so we might do some canola. So we set that to canola. And what I need to do is get the auto whip set for the GPS and then get the A line set and get that turned on. And then we can just follow the field down. So this is going to be a hell of a lot quicker than our old cedar. Which was only the 4 metre. So this is going to do... What, two and a quarter passes in one go. That it would have taken for the other one. So it's going to save a lot of time. So what we'll do, we'll drive to the end of the field, keeping it fairly straight. And when we get to that bit where it curves off a little bit. And then we can set the B line. Or the B, so we've got the A, B line set up. And then we can continue using the GPS to finish off the rest of the field. And with this size seed now, it's really not going to take too long at all. So one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade to that. And going for this one 
was a, a nice upgrade. I say we could have just gone for the six meter, which for the size fields we've got would have been more than enough. But as I said in the last episode, it's um, or one of the previous episodes, it's not just about uh, getting the the fields done a little bit quicker. It just helps me out between episodes. So what we can do now, we've got the AB line set up, we can get the line switched off because I find them annoying. I uh, really don't like the fact that they default on as well, every time you reload the game up, the lines show up. Um, hopefully they'll update that with an option where you, you have to go in to switch them on, which I'd prefer. Okay, so we pretty much about halfway through the field already and we've only done oh, about four passes so really helping speed up the job uh, this new holo I've not actually used any of the in-game new holland so I don't know if this sound has changed been changed on this one it's got a nice uh, sound to it so I don't know if that's the standard T8 in-game sound or whether that's been edited because I've not used it uh, but so far it's going reasonably well. It does struggle a little bit going uphill. It does slow down a little bit. Um, now we are only just a little bit above the power requirement for this cedar. So that's probably understandable that it is going to reduce it down a little bit. I think it, as you can see, about 8 9 miles an hour. Um, it should do 11 miles an hour. Uh, the standard speed so uh, but so something that we're not going to worry about too much we, as I say we've got that flexibility if we do need to upgrade it we can boost the power up as and when we need to well, it did look really nice uh, having a, a blue tractor on the farm as well now so we've got the cases and the international uh, I keep meaning to fix that dip there, there's a, a little crater in that field that needs um, smoothing out and there's another one just there and I always forget about them until I actually come to um, see the field and one next time we do is if we've done a crop that requires the field to be ploughed afterwards I'll have to try and remember to get the landscaping tools and repair those bumps I'm assuming it's just something that was missed when they created the map so it's just those two little craters there so field I did say we was going to do canola down in field 23 as well don't know if we will now we're doing this one I may do some wheat or barley just so we can top up the pigs food a little bit more and then we don't have to worry about the pigs for a while because we'll have the corn off nine, um, 18 to top up that we'll have the canola off this one so if we do some more wheat and barley and then that should keep the pigs going for a very long time uh, but it will probably just be the corn every now and then and maybe wheat or barley will do we'll probably do barley in the the other field um, for everything else we're fine for now so once we've done that we'll we can use that for pig feed we'll top that up and then say that's the pig sorted for a while and we can just start getting some crops in for making some money Okay, so this is probably the last pass then we've just got the the headlands to do and then what we'll do we'll get this down to 23 I'll get a worker started on that so we'll leave a worker to do that uh, we we'll possibly then go and try and get some fertilizer on field 19 with the sprayer so you just need to finish off this bit 
Uh, we should have plenty of seed and fertilizer in there to do that field. So what we'll probably do in the next episode, we'll possibly look at just doing the the corn, uh, getting field 18 harvested, and then the we do need to get the hay, or whether we do as we did last time and do silage bales, sell those, and then buy hay bales, uh, possibly. We'll see. I do at some point want to get a a new baler um, for this there's a, a modded one I think it's from Elite Modding Quebec uh, which did the edit of the John Deere 6R I think it was I'm using on the Ravenport time lapse series uh, they've done a North American version of the New Holland square baler um, which has got a few added options to it uh, so I'd like to try and get that. Uh, one of the main reasons is they've got an adjustable bale capacity, which I, I really like. Um, I used to do in 17, I used the variable bale capacity mod, and I used to do 8,000 litre bales, uh, simply because of the fact it just reduced the amount of bales you have to deal with. You're not gaining anything, it's not taking 4,000 litres of straw and converting it into an 8,000 litre bale. So you're not like getting more, you're just getting less bales. So you've got less work. Um, can we go this way? I think we can. Yeah, so I do want to get that one because I'd rather have less bales to deal with because it just, again, it's one of those things with time, especially when you're doing the, the videos is you can get more things done if you're not spending so much time doing jobs so you're still actually doing the job you're still going around baling the the straw or the hay or whatever you're doing and you still got to collect the bales off the field it's just you have half as many to do so i do want to get that um hopefully they'll the variable bale capacity mod may come out for 19 that will then work on any baler. Uh, this one you do have to change within the shop menu so you take it to your workshop and change the capacity you're not stuck to 8000 litre bales. The only downside to um, 8000 litres and we're going completely the wrong way is the when you come to do mixing total mix rations with the small mixers it does make it difficult then so a lot of time what I ended up doing was uh, one silage, one hay bale, so 16,000 litres and uh, no straw um, is the easiest way to do it. It does save you a lot of time on that as well, but then you're using more expensive uh, bales, uh, so you're not getting that cheaper straw bale to fill out the food. Uh, but as we don't have cows on this one, I'm not too concerned. <laughs> so what we'll do, we'll get this changed to barley. Did we have barley in here last time? Yes. I know crop rotation doesn't really matter in game, but for the sakes of doing crop rotation, we'll do wheat instead. So I'll set a worker off on that. It seems to be going slower as it goes speed up. And what we'll do, we'll go and get field 19. The sunflowers are um, fertilized. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll put the the twin narrows onto the magnum and we'll get the sprayer on this and uh, we can get the fertilizer on to our sunflowers uh, they possibly may be ready to harvest in the next episode I'm not sure on that, I do have plant growth on slow and again I don't know if it's Part of the 1.3 update is the crops on slow uh, do seem to be a lot slower than they did before. So there may not be any different, it may just be me imagining things, but they do seem to be slower. 
Um, which I always think that the, or at least in 19, um, crop growth on slow was still too fast. I'd prefer it to be a little bit slower sometimes. Right, so we should have enough fertilizer in here to do this. We don't have the liquid fertilizer refill point. Um, but I can't remember if I think we've got a fertilizer up there. Can't remember. So what we'll do we'll get the sprayer unfolded. This is another area I just want to tidy up as well. Possibly even just use the train tool to repaint the texture here to get rid of these bushes. So they are a bit annoying, you have to keep driving into them to turn around. And get that switched on. So we've got no GPS on this tractor, so um, but with um, corn and sunflowers, because they're planted in rows, you can just keep your wheels in in that one row you can keep a nice straight line anyway so you don't really need GPS for doing these and in cab if you follow the top of the red front tank just in that line keep it in within that row and then you know you're going to be going fairly straight So now we've got our new tractor and new cedar. As I said before, do want to try and get our baler replaced. Um, also, then continue expanding the farm with getting some more fields, um, increasing the horse paddock to the large one. And as I mentioned in the last episode as well about this area, changing over the sheep pastures for a large one as well and the two chicken coops for a large single chicken coop which I think will be a lot better and then change some of these sheds around is the kind of plan uh, that will be as and when uh, I think for now the main focus will be to get some more land so we buy some more fields as I did say as well before but kind of end goal would be to own field 16, 17, 20, 21 and 22 at least as well as then get the area around the pig enclosure finished off all the terraforming, get the other shed up and then finish off this area as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue getting this field sprayed I'll get this fully fertilized. I'll get the field 23 done. I'll finish the work off on that one and I'll get that one ready for the next episode. And we've got the next two horses to go as well. So we've got plenty to do. So we'll leave this episode here as we're getting on for 40 odd minutes again. So if you have enjoyed it then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, I really do appreciate that. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel then please do consider subscribing. I've got new Farm Simulator 19 videos coming every day. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Goodbye.